you know, cities are trying to update their technologies as much as they possibly can. Some cities are putting in LED lights to reduce energy consumptions, but they're also installing fiber optics in order for them to have better telecommunications and better internet services. Currently, there's, there's a cost to deploy additional fiber optics. So you can either dig ditches or hang it onto a pole and expand the fiber optics that way and then start attaching other devices to it. The gig light is an expandable light that can start out very economically for the initial deployment and then we can grow it into whatever you want to grow it into. The gig light is the next generation of network hosting that has a street light built into it. And we're going to be able to connect the entire municipal community through the street lights and one day we're not even going to be looking up at it and call it a street light, we're going to end up calling them the gig light. Our lights are not just typical lights, they're networking lights. And so the word gig light actually sticks with our, our product a whole lot better than just a regular LED street light. Um, our product is a great LED product, but the gig light turns it into a networking platform that has a street light built into it. If we use the street light as the hosting for the power and the data, then we can plug other devices inside the light or outside the light and provide the power and the data to those devices at a much, much more economical price than what you would normally have to pay to do each one of those individually. Let's say five years from now that you want to change out that LED light and make it better, but you don't want to change out all the other devices that are on there, the gig light allows you to do that. You can take the lighting head off and put a new lighting head on it without touching anything else that's up there already established onto the pole. So when LEDs first came out, it was nothing but energy savings. And people were trying to figure out how they could reduce their energy consumption to pay for the cost of installing a new expensive LED light. Now that the light controls have come along, now what you can do is put a much, much brighter light out there for safety and security, and then reduce that light when you don't need it, measure it and report it. It's not so much that the fact that the LED is actually putting out less light for less money, the LEDs are actually putting out twice as much light for less money. Well, initially, we started manufacturing the lights in China just like everybody else does. But we started losing the IP technology to the Chinese. So we decided that we would bring the manufacturing back to Chattanooga, Tennessee. We actually closed a factory in China, moved it back to Chattanooga, set it up, and was producing the street lights that we have in Chattanooga uh, here in the United States. The designs of our lights and our gig light is so easy to do that we can actually duplicate this manufacturing in other cities and create jobs in those cities that are actually buying the product for us. So at Global Green Lighting, we're not just a lighting company, we're a company of innovation. And we want to use that innovation to create jobs in the United States for American people. Five years ago, when we took down high pressure sodium lights and replaced them with LED lights, and lighting controls, everybody else was just putting up LED lights. Today, everybody's putting up LED lights with lighting controls, and we're putting up the gig light. We've taken a good LED street light, and we've made it better. The gig light is the light of the future.